Welcome to the show your parents, the PTA and the asleep, don't want you to hear. The headiest blog. Today, this girl gets kicked off the whatever podcast. Big surprise. I'll bet she wasn't disrespectful. I'll bet. The reason she's alone is because she's difficult. Women are not accepting the bare minimum. Women fuck men they respect. All the women who say things like, I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man, like, y'all impress me. Women just gaslight each other and say what they want to hear. for the age that I am is really that high. Mm -hmm. And also a lot of dudes. She's talking about end count. My end count isn't really that high. It's 100 plus. It's not that high considering my age. Like what? It's only three guys per year. Five guys per year. It's one guy every two months. Kiko um, touched up on a lot of guys want to say, oh, younger women, lower body count. And some younger women have higher body counts than me. Yeah, sure. So of course. That some do doesn't mean that it's a general trend. That is called a logical fallacy. Not that you would know what a logical fallacy is, considering your choice of career, but that's neither here nor there, is it? I would, I would just say, though, like... Especially in this new age bimbo culture. Uh... So you said body count shouldn't matter. It sh just comes down to STDs. That's it. But wouldn't Come. you agree that, for example, like let's remove STDs from this. Let's, let me just give, say a girl who has a hundred body count, she's totally clean. Hundred body count, totally clean. Would you agree though, that if she's gotten a hundred body count versus like, let's compare her to a girl who has a body count of zero. Mm -hmm. Indeed. You don't think that there's gonna be other impacting things there? This is why Never. I say it depends. I feel like if a woman I has a high like, body count, I feel like she should kind of be with a man that like, also kind of has the same range mm -hmm. of body count. Okay. Yes, but here's the thing. A man with high body counts is a stud. A girl with a high body count is a garden tool. And what that means is that a guy with high body count is more attractive and a girl with high body count is less attractive because men and women are not the same. So you making that equivalency is again a logical fallacy and is again not a good argument. Zero ability to argue or communicate. Sorry. That's fair. All right. And then I think we taught... Tell me if we talked about this last time, but you said you were in a relationship with a guy who was your slave? Oh my lord. A long time ago. You yeah. had a slave? Oh my lord. Yeah, it's like um, how Rolo said, you know, the most common relationship in 2024 is a girl with multiple men, where the girl has all the power in the relationship. The guy is not allowed to cheat, but she can cheat. That's this girl right here definition of girl guy womanist wokist um their plan was to get to produce girls like this and why so you can create a class of women that can't stay in a relationship to save their life and all they do is consume relationship. i wasn't i wasn't um in a relationship with him he was just my pet yeah, I thought Japan. I remember you saying that before. Like I didn't. Be, I didn't date him because I used to be a professional dominatrix. Like to be kicked in the groin. Yeah. Huh. I wish I still had the videos. I know he. No mental illness there. He would approve me airing it. What? Yikes. Yeah. You see, and she she speaks on it with glee because her goal is not to have a relationship. Her goal is to dominate a man. Also, something about Brixen. Why does he have these people wear the... Maybe that's why. It's just so you ask why. You no, he got true? off on it. You said For he real? was... Yeah. Wait. Some you guys are into pain. He was the so dog weird. and you'd walk him on a leash? Yeah. He had a dog My collar. old job that I used to bartend at in New Jersey, I would literally chain him up. No mental illness there. And walk him around. What's the... <laughs> yeah, at my work. That is so weird. And then the dog collar said what on it? Um, property of kitties if lost returned. Wait, do you enjoy, like, did you enjoy doing that to him? Yes. Why? Um, one, he enjoyed... Because she hates men and she did a women's studies course that justifies her psychopathic behavior. Enjoyed it. 
<laughs> you didn't two? get like, like cringed out or anything? <laughs> no, because honestly, it felt empowering. Because some men like that. to belittle women. Did he pay you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she wasn't doing it. As I said, you can't make this crap up, guys. Remember how I said if you have the if you're not able to say no, like this this crap happens to you. Was I right or was I the opposite of wrong? If a professional pretty, dom, you get paid, and a pretty good amount. Like I used to work, I used to work in New York City, um, Pandora's Box. It's like a professional dungeon. Like there's no sex involved, Freaking so disaster. it's legal there. You said that would you, you would. Stop would you the say cop, that there's man. like a good percentage of men that are into dominatrix? them being very like alpha in their normal life or like a business like person or, or are they more like scrawny little like no it, it varies there's some dudes that you wouldn't expect expect being into it right so it's very all over the place like attractive dudes too as i said no mental illness there yeah. i'm gonna be honest i had a really hot firefighter that was an o odk which that's where you like pull down their pants and slap their butt and tell them they've been like a bad boy. He had like the babysitter kink, <laughs> and he was hot. He was Wait, fine. Did as... they pay you? This or is you this is what oh no, I got paid. Does to no. men's minds. <laughs> I got paid. That's not what it does. That's deep psychological damage that these people are exploiting for money. It's shameful. And like more than OnlyFans girls, you absolutely. Know? Yeah, because like the usually, and I don't know if this is still the case, but in New York too, usually just to meet with the dominatrix, like to discuss the transaction or the boundaries or what they're into, the lowest you pay is seven hundred, and that's just for the meet alone. Yeah, just the consultation. Just the consultation. Oh and this depending on the kink or the fetish or what they're getting, it is up in the thousands, thousands, it's thousands. It's very niche. Only fans, there's, anyone can there's, there's even a kidnapping girl, fetish. Right. This is like, you know what I'm saying? This is actually crazy. Which yeah, is I a good 5,000. Yeah. What's her name? Bella, Def that one? Belle Delphine. No, I think it was the other one. that Maybe it was her. One of those really big OnlyFan, like gamer, dress up girls. Was it her? Like, the she one that like sold a the bath water? Yes, but yeah. she I don't know. but she did a um she did a like really crazy like kidnapping kink video and everyone was like super mad about it. Yeah. She got like tied up and put into a trunk or something. People were not fucking with it. I think she's just a troll. What is that CNC? Oh, what the heck? Consent not consent. Consensual yeah. non consent. But yeah, I think people were mad though because she just posted it on Twitter. Like she just like, uh -huh. like I mean trigger twi like what Twitter has it. turned into I mean is, yeah. is you can't even read open porn. comments on a Twitter posts without it all being girls promoting their only fans yeah and like straight up <laughs> oh man it's um what's it called the wild west again uh of the internet but i i forgot what they said there's a percentage like 30 percent of the internet or something is is uh that kind of content so that's actually hilarious Again, that just all that tells me is that what I do is already correct, which is don't use social media. <laughs> like, social media is just trash. And it shouldn't be used at all. Like, spend your time doing something productive. Porn videos. I do not like Twitter. But Elon was supposed to save us. Right. <laughs> That's a whole different conversation. He did. Station though. Oh wait, wasn't I supposed to pull Elon up better than woke BS? Right. This is a uh, message from Jordan. Names. Madison, can you read <laughs> oh, this yeah. one? What he's saying. We do care about women's body count. Stop comparing bleep. That is not a fair comparison. How about your OnlyFans and the attention you're getting? I don't have to pay. Two sex I can find your OF leak. Oh, he meant. I think he's flex? talking about what I said about yeah, yeah. porn. porn yeah. Um, hmm. Ryan, you were in the bathroom, but basically what oh, yeah. I said. What was the take? So basically I said, you know, men care about women's body counts a lot, rightfully so, which a woman then as a rebuttal, I care about how many hours of porn have you watched? Because I think it has the same. That's bullshit. Same psychological effects no, that doesn't. having a high body count for it, women no, that watching porn, which by the way, I don't do only fans. So go ahead and try to find whatever leak you're talking about. But, um, well, what, what would be the number? I, that, oh, we that was what we were talking about. I don't know what the conversion rate would actually be, but there's no denying that porn has psychological effects on men that correlate and are very similar to the psychological effects of women having high body counts. I mean, I don't deny that 
That's what? actually not true. Um, the, anyway, that's that's, that's watching porn will have some degree of impact on men, but you you just can't make this sort of comparison. That it's, you can It's on the same level. It's not as promiscuity. It's, who it's has not. who it's has not. more crazy kinks, men or women? Uh, probably men, but that has to do with um, the the bell curve distribution of uh, like there's more crazy men and there's more genius men. Same with there's more kinky men and there's more hyper conservative men. Women are somewhere in between on the spectrum. Well, I heard pregnant. I'd actually today, argue so women. That was the worst. There's this. Yeah. There's men this have book. that too. There's I, this I, book. I yeah, that's true. A breeding king. Wait, yeah. it's called that's my. True. Although. Uh, women are more about bedroom fun than men. Like, they're more about reproduction. So, you could make that argument as well. A Secret yeah. Garden. My Secret Garden, I think, is the name of the book. It came out in... Uh, women's Sex... As opposed to The Secret Garden. Sexual Fantasies is a 1973 book comp compiled by Nancy Friday and uh, who collected women's fantasies through letters and tapes and personal interviews. And, uh, bro, you got so, y'all got some weird fucking shit. I mean, that's fine, so do men. Sure, I mean, yeah. who, cr who, who commits the more, more sexual crimes? Well, hold on, okay, that's, that's not the same. No, because like, if we're talking about the consequences, right, the psychological consequences. You think, you think it's because of porn use that I mean, I think it, it does have an effect I, for some people. You think men are more likely to essay women because of porn use? Yeah, that's, that's not that's not why at all. Again, it's it's about that same bell curve distribution. It's not like there's more degenerate men and more hyper straight laced men. Women lie somewhere in between. It's not like. They're just making false uh, equivalencies here, fi false dichotomies. But didn't you it make? It escalates you could psychologically. Actually, it escalates yeah. them to a point to where, no, yeah, eventually, either either, either yeah, they no, do no, crimes or they get into because really of crazy. Watching, no, no. The crazy absolutely, porn? absolutely. Porn, what? Por watching porn. That's not at all what the what the studies say. The studies say that in countries that have access to this stuff, crime rates go down considerably. And there's a reason why. It's obvious, right? Because uh, the need for reproduction is so great that if men can't get it because they're uncompetitive, they resort to, let's say, other strategies to acquire it. Could even lead to erectile dysfunction. And that's on... Well, not, hold on. Let's, let's stay on your, your one thing here. So you said that men who watch porn are more likely to essay women. Couldn't you make the opposite argument that men who are deprived of sexual release are more likely to essay women? Yeah, I, I agree with both statements, but I, I do what? I do think that there's more inherent harm in watching porn and going that route. I think it's a bit of a leap, though, to say men who watch yes. porn are more likely to essay women. I, I think I, there's, there actually are statistics that show that the higher porn consumption leads to more uh, essays. Yeah. Now, I... How do, think you, how, I think, how do you well, prove that? That's though? actually not the case at all. Um, and even in countries where uh, ladies of the night are legal, the, the crime rate goes down significantly again. So, no, no. Oh. Think about how porn is, though. Well, like, okay, so because the, we're not talking about so, just grabbing women off the street, but like in a situation where it's like, say you two are drinking, and it's like some men don't understand that's not what women want because well, okay. oh, in porn she loves that. Or that's so like, I think the like psychological that. Um, thinking behind it is it's that it's a reach. Go so, ahead, go ahead. Don, go ahead. So when uh, someone's watching porn, like it gets more and more extreme right. to get the same amount of reaction. Right. So once porn, because there, and this is kind of an argument I would pose against your uh, point of view not saying porn's good but once you get to a certain point uh, things through a screen no longer have the same effect mm -hmm. so they're they want to do stuff in real life right. the only way you can do that is generally yeah. forcefully yeah. so um, there are statistics that kind of bear that out but then uh, to argue against your point yes I think porn is 
terrible for marriage, especially if you're looking for a husband. Don't find somebody who watches a lot of porn. It's, it's extremely bad. Um, but I definitely would say that the physical relationship, like physically engaging in the acts of sex is like but is, with multiple people is way, way, way worse. magnitudes worse. Isn't than, it a product of psychology though, right? Like psychology and biology? Well, like. Well, yeah, so because what, what makes it worse? Like what happens wh when a woman has a high body count to now not being a wife or wife? Uh, what happens is uh, she's unable to pair bond because she doesn't release as much oxytocin. For men, you don't release oxytocin at all when you're watching um, that stuff. So it's it's really it's not the same thing at all. Like it's these are two radically different things girl sleeping around is not at all the same as a guy watching um like them making this false dichotomy all it's doing is trying to to move the goalposts effectively let's move the goalposts away from um women being bad and move it towards men being bad as a result of watching adult content and uh we'll we'll make the equivalence that uh, men and women are exactly as bad as each other for doing this and this will make women look less bad for like, you're not fooling anyone. All you're doing is hurting yourself by saying this crap. Okay, let's continue. Material, like, what is it that happens? Like, isn't it a psychological thing? Like, her pair bonding ability more likely to lead to divorce, less likely to be able to raise, yeah. you know, well, children. So, just emotionally, right. uh, it's harder for women to emotionally detach from men when they have sex with them. Yep, it's, yep. it's easier for men to detach emotionally when they have sex with a woman. Not saying that, like, I, I'm promoting men to go have sex with a bunch of women, but they are psychologically different. And physiologically different. Yeah, so that's why my, my comparison isn't on a man's body count. Exactly, it's yeah, on yeah. on hours yeah. watched of porn. Well, but it's not, even, it's not even close to the same magnitude. It's not the same. I'm not saying that yeah. obviously porn's bad, porn bad, but it's not porn bad just like uh, women high body count bad. And also, I think if we, I don't know. one perhaps angle we can look at this, if we look at the extremes of both and the impact on the partner, so okay, let's say the guy is like watching five hours of porn a day. That's crazy. Extreme porn addiction, yeah, right? That's, that's that, terrible for you. Bad, but okay, maybe he has difficulty getting it up and he's got weird kinks or whatever, who yeah. knows, whatever it may be. That would be the extreme, the, yeah. the extreme of a woman who's got, let's say, a body count of 100. Well, okay, let, no, let's just use the extreme negative symptoms or ramifications. Fucking, it could be an STD. She's got a fucking crazy ex or some shit. Like, I mean, I would... I would. Uh, or, no, the, the ramifications are she literally can never appreciate a new man again. I would I would argue Way that a, a man with a porn addiction in a committed relationship also possibly might go cheat. And, no. and go to explore his fantasies and yeah. the fantasies that he develops watching having an intense porn addiction is going to lead to him possibly committing infidelity and uh, but but the girl with high end count isn't much more likely to do so i think the equivalence is a guy with lots of girls like a guy who has multiple girlfriends or whatever might be is much worse and watching and you know, that potentially could risk your health for STDs. You, but you can everything. make like the the extremes i would argue mm -hmm. it's far worse to be promiscuous than to be a porn user yeah and the psychological Wait, do, do you do you, oh, do you agree with that it's much worse if we can say that yes i i personally think they're they're e they have it's, equal consequences you, so wait, you think it also depends porn, what kind of porn maybe that you're watching well, so but to be that, clear, yeah but that's like if he's the watching thing. five wait. hours of hardcore like well crazy but that's stuff, the thing like that is more the more porn. you watch the more likely you're gonna yeah. be going into like there's stuff. some men who wait, have to watch porn so and jack on, off me, before they can have sex with their wife let me ask you this so yeah. let's say if we can we can agree that porn is bad and promiscuity is bad okay so let's say let's compare Let's compare an average amount of porn usage and an average amount of female promiscuity. Which is worse? They're probably the same. You think it's the same? I do, yeah. Really? Yeah. I would think that, okay, so someone who... Lordy Lord. Uh, so a woman who is promiscuous versus a man who consumes porn, the long-lasting effects of being promiscuous far outlast the long-lasting effects of 
being porn addicted. Say the man gets off porn immediately and he's no longer, he, he doesn't even have the ability to consume it. Like after a certain amount of time, say it's probably, probably about a year, like those negative effects go away. After a year, those negative effects don't go away for a woman. I completely Never. disagree and with that. I think if anything, people get over their promiscuity times. Like a lot of once people have that couple years phase in their lives and then she's talking about herself here realize what they were doing versus the effects of watching that porn that much and developing those kinks i don't if you develop those kinks and stuff there's i don't no see them back. going back yeah, yeah. Like once no you're there, you're i don't know i don't know the statistics on that as... i would be interested to know the yeah. statistics on like if someone quits porn how quickly it takes them to get back to baseline but you don't we do we do have statistics we quits do have quitting. statistics on quitting promiscuity so people who have five or more sexual partners in their lifetime have a 20 percent likelihood of a successful marriage we do have that them quitting quitting promiscuity like doesn't affect their success in marriage because maybe they're not quitting so i don't know yeah so we don't know those statistics maybe so, the reason why that's failing is because they're going on and still cheating or yeah, doing things of the they source. can't stop themselves which is porn watchers i haven't mm. met someone who's addicted to porn who's able to stop themselves because it's so much easier accessible than yeah. I, I do have do to move things on to the last to thing here comments? so i can try to wrap wrap up the show just some of your pre-show notes here. We could have, perhaps, I, I'm having to skip over some of yours and some of yours. I mean, we That's did fine. start the show late because you guys were late, so. Um, and we could have gotten into this sooner. But uh, you said men really got disgusting over COVID for real, for real. What? Yeah, I think that's what I said last time. Because oh, okay. even, um, even now, in the six months that I've been single and celibate, I've tried dating twice. You've been celibate? <laughs> Born again, another red flag. I mean, I already could have told you that she was a red flag from the way her hair is dyed and her makeup, but you can't make this crap up, guys. I have. For six months? Not the whole six months, but recently, be <laughs> after those two bad dating experiences, Freaking and I'm disaster. about to explain why, because... So you haven't been celibate for six months? <clears throat> for... You tried to be celibate for six months? Yeah. Indeed. And I tried been... dating twice. No, I tried dating twice during these six months. Two different people. You can't and make this both crap times, up. It was very much so like sex forward or sex driven or sex aggravated, I would even say. What is that? My mean? Lord. Um, like their only intentions were to have sex. Yeah. And yeah, she's using like aggressive language to to deflect any responsibility off of herself. Another glaring red flag. That was not my intentions going in, and I've been celibate since that experience. Probably like four. Wait, three, so you, four months. you were surprised that men wanted to have sex with you? Not no. It just seems like they weren't interested in dating her. They were just interested in getting in, dating her to get into her pants. Yeah, that's about yeah. Because not with the actual point of being with her, but just to pretty be normal with her. Yeah, that's 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 pretty normal. That's how it it kind of goes in 2024 to start. And even with the guys I've tried talking to, because I stopped going out on physical dates after those two experiences. Um, have just they can tell you're a glaring red flag and so they stay the hell away for you uh, from you except to have bedroom fun that's obvious it's honestly been the same it's been very like sex forward sex driven very much so like I, like that's because you're meeting guys off tinder i say aggravated sexually because it is very like I don't know, it feels primal, and maybe that comes from past trauma as well, so I like feel that way a lot of times when it's very sex forward instead of relationship forward. Um, but yeah, that's been my experience, especially after COVID and from other women that I know as well who say they do like to go out and party or they like to hang out with friends. A lot of women, and this is coming from LA specifically just because that's where I'm living, won't even go out anymore and the party- Yeah, because girls took advantage, full advantage of men for years and men adapted. Now they're not just giving you free attention, validation or anything. They want the bedroom fun up front. No more of this crap where men don't get what they want and girls get everything. No, now you don't get everything you want anymore either. You get nothing until you put out. 2024, 
parties or underground raves or wherever you go, a lot of time the rule is women are free. Look, yeah, you're choosing the environments where women are promiscuous uh, or are expected to be promiscuous. And then you're wondering why are the men expecting you to be promiscuous? Well, because you're you're wearing the lady of the night's clothes, as they say. If you guys want to fucking leave, then just get out. Go ahead. You guys can leave. Go. I don't need you guys making little fucking faces at each other the past fucking hour. If you guys want to leave, it's totally fine. Just fucking go. You, she's had no time to talk. You, we've given you guys so much fucking attention the entire show. At least be respectful for the last five minutes while she's saying her piece. If you need to really fucking leave, your little fucking security guard needs to take you back to fucking LA. Kindly go. Go ahead. Thank Out you, you go. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Disaster. <sighs> You can go too. You were, too. Out you go. Go ahead. <laughs> what I do? You were making faces at her. I She's trying smile. to tell her story. I told you guys mm. we have five minutes left of the show. You I can't just, just be polite and listen to her without fucking. Oh my God! I can't believe we have another five minutes. Go ahead. I know I'm trying to rush through. I'm sorry. Oh. I just have to leave. It's again. already eleven. That's but all. I feel like also this is a long topic. Maybe it's for another episode for other people to talk about. But I feel like. Uh, in LA specifically with the parties stuff like God that damn, dating bro. has been very like women are free for it to try and get women to come in huh? and a lot Okay, ramble 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 wah 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 Okay, let's end the video there Hit the like, hit the sub, hit all the notifications, drop me a donation like Hunter M, Adrian Otto, and Bobby Dylan, Renaissance Press, Brian, Andrew, and Alan. Shout us to you. Most recent purchase of Strategist Guide to Seduction. Thank you. Go buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. Want to watch my episodes in sections of three or four instead of one per day? Well, you can. Just go to my Patreon. That's patreon.com slash the Helios blog. Want me to actually give you good dating advice? as opposed to the crap that these girls tell you on crappy shows like this? Great. Just message me my email. It's theheadiestblog at gmail.com. I'll give you real dating advice that actually works. And you won't need many coaching sessions to just get it, okay? One or two, maybe three if you're slow. That's it. All right. Thank you so much for listening, guys, especially if you listen to the end. I really do appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.